Like when you talk of the, if you want to talk of people that have similarity with Igbos, you don't put the data state in complex, but that is a complex state where you have different tribes. You have the Jo, you have the Robos, you have the Soko. But from Okwane, Eka, and Anyocha are those people that have similarities with the Igbos. Okay, um, sir, um, I want to ask you. Having, all, having the knowledge of all this, do you identify as an Igbo man? Uh, the, the question is, we don't identify as an Igbo man. Well, my beautiful people, is your boy, the XDT and YP, the extra talented young progressive entrepreneur, the RAB, Refinable Boy, SBGC Street Boy, Grand Classic, and I'm repping in Nightmare TV. Well, today we are the um, Ukwa, Ukwa Government Secretariat, and uh, this is Okwani. We are here to do our normal tradition go into the cities, into the communities, meet indigenous people right here and uh, get to interview them and find out firsthand their origin, are they Igbos? But the thing that is really uh, fascinating about these people are they bear Igbo names, uh, Igbo titles, Igbo tradition and cultures and everything. So but then they don't normally identify as Igbos. But we'll be finding out exactly their own story. So join me as we do this. Thank you and God bless. Okay, my name is Honorable Molly Oji. Molly Oji. Molly Oji. Okay, Molly Oji. Yeah. Okay, sir. Um, well, uh, it has become a tradition. Uh, what we do, we travel around cities, communities, and states, uh, discovering and uh, trying to know the similarities between the Igbo communities, people that has affiliation with the general Igbo communities, people that have some affinity with the Igbos, and we are trying to ascertain exactly uh, who they are, because uh, we have met some who they speak Igbo, but they say they are not Igbos. We met others who, yes, they accepted their, their identity, and uh, we keep on picking up these facts. So we are here in Ukwani local government area to find out the same thing. So do you have anything to tell us about the Ukwani people? Yes, the Ukwani people, it's a tribe that have some similarity culture with uh, the Igbos. Like for example, the, the traditional setting and their greetings are almost alike. Like when they are coming from a journey, you say noa. We say noa. The woman equally we say either is either noa or noa. No. Noa. So if you if you put your ears on the ground, there are little difference. But you cannot understand what he's saying. You know what he's saying is that well the bottom line is welcome. Then you come to the traditional setting. You have the OB. When you have the OB there Equally, we equally have, like formerly we used to have the obi of our board, but we don't have obi here because the monarch system is not our system here. We now start to establish issues like the traditional setting of Okpaluku. When you have the Okpaluku, the oldest man is the, is the community leader of the place. But you see, that system of go, uh, traditional setting there is the same thing here. Here you have the council of chiefs. It's not like the northern part. You see how the Council of Chiefs, where they meet and they deliberate and decisions is taken, like a village head. It's equally the same thing here. Uh, the marriage system too, like one marriage I attended in Enugu with my friend last month. Uh, there's no difference between the marriage here and their own too. It's the same, almost it's like the same process. So I find out that, well, when you cross over, like the issue we have is the Niger. They feel that people behind, outside the Niger is, is the Niger is separating them. People across is other uh, tribes. But you know, Delta State too, is a very large state. Like when you talk of the, if you want to talk of people that have similarity with Igbos, you don't put the Delta State in complete, but that is a complex state where you have different tribes. You have the joy, you have the robots, you have the soko. But from Okwane, Eka, and Anyocha are those people that have similarities with the evils. Okay, um, sir. 
um, I want to ask you, having, all, having the knowledge of all this, do you identify as an Igbo man? Uh, the, the question is, we don't identify as an Igbo man. But anybody outside originally calls us we are Igbos. But we, here, and I will say it, because when, when the other man from the deeper Igbo speaks, we don't understand. Aside from aside Anambra, the Anambra man, we have close boundary with him. Through that Tane, they, there's a place they call in Ndokwa land. Ndokwa, they call them Ndokwa is the riverine area. They are very close to them there. In fact, if you stand there, you see Onisha. Oko, they are, they, they are Oko is sharing common boundaries. So you see, in a place like that, where you can just use boat to go to your neighboring village. Well, we are all one. But we, on our own here, because we will not see it, but if you're another person outside, they classify us from we and them here that we are able to. All right, this is, um, I want us to understand uh, what, is, what, is, what is playing out. You speak, you speak a language, and that language is an Igbo language. Yes. Okay. But you speak it in your own uh, Okwane dialect. Yes, lighter mood, but almost the same thing. No, I mean, it's a language, because it's a language. It, uh, it's a language. Ibo. Ibo. Now you speak your own dialect of Okwane. Because me, I am from Umbiri, a place in Imo State, under the Bitoli local government. We have a distinct dialect that if I want to say, okay, let's, let's experiment. If an uh, Okwane man wants to say, you are looking for my trouble now. How would you say it? Uh, you say enachomoku. Enachomoku. Yes. Okay. Right. Me as an uh, Mbiri man, I will say echomamo do. Uh, you see that that uh, that is what I was trying to explain to you. You see when you come to the whole Ibo Ibo as a whole have no central language. Thank you. Thank you. That is what uh, what I want us to establish. We speak uh, similarities are there, but when we come together, we cannot. When they go deeper. We cannot understand ourselves. But in the lighter, when we are outside, we want to understand ourselves, either in business, transactions, or in anything that can benefit or will come to the lighter one, where all of us will say we are one. Uh, you know, is it? Okay, so now, I have asked you before, do you identify as an Igbo man? Because it, this, is a, this is a very vital part, that if you have found out that you have uh, an affinity, with these uh, people, in, in as much as their location, they are, yes, the Niger seems to be a, a, a barrier. We've been to Asaba, we've been to, they are also part of this uh, across, yes. across the Niger. But then, they, they uh, uh, boldly say that they migrated from Nteje, talking about the Asaba man, the Ahaba man. So now we are here in uh, Okwani. I want to ask you again, having an Igbo name, Speaking an Igbo dialect, are you an Igbo man? No. Why? I mean, how, why do you say so? Why we say we are not Igbos? Like I told you, data state, you see, like now you say, the, the further you go, the closer they are. Their Saba man is telling you now, he migrated, or they are not your man, because that is their neighboring brother. But like people like us here, our migration has trees to come from above, and their born man, we start tracing back. That is what history will say, I don't know. Sometimes they say from Benin, sometimes they say from here. They've never given us that affiliation that they migrated from the East. But the affiliation does not show that you have a Benin kind of, in language, in culture, or anything. It still traces back to the Igbo stock. Does that uh, uh, give you a worry? Yes, actually. He needs to give you a worry because you know history. Uh, nobody's a considerant of history. The one you say is the one they know. Maybe if you go into a deeper archive, like what we are doing now, can bring in some questions. And like if Riley asks, if you say we are from we are from here, there must be a similarity you have from that place. Either by borrowing their culture, doing like them. But if you are not doing like them, that is to say it's like for example, when you have a child, there are some children who have resemblance. And there are some children who, is, who has questionable character. So this man does not look like you. This man, you don't look like your father. You don't resemble anybody from the family. 
It's a big question. It's something that you have to investigate. So you don't have the trace of for somebody from our family. So like the question you are asking now, it is left for us to go into research deeply, ask ourselves questions. This place we have similarity in language. We have similarity in culture. Are you sure there's no trace from them? Okay. Starting, I mean, having said this, I, I want to uh, ask, what is the uh, market days of the people of uh, Okwani? What market days do you practice here? Okay. They have Nkwo, they have Afo, they have Uri, they have, uh, uh, I think that is the one sign, okay. And each, each community, each community has a special day like me. Obiaroko, yeah, we don't call. That's our market day. Another community again, can I choose a K? Because you don't bring all of them together once. So that because of commercial purposes, so that you can trade here, your neighboring uh, uh, village or clan can come trade with you. Then you carry your goods to give him some time, you go to his village. I think that is why there's a spread. But our own here is in poor. Okay, okay. all right. Uh, it's established now that uh, Okwa and people still practice the same market days with the uh, general Igbos. Okay, what are you for? Have you, does the Benin people or the Robos, do they practice such market days? No, 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 no. At all. They don't. They don't. Yes, they don't. That, that still points us to. Uh, Our affiliation does not go to, to the Robos. Uh, particularly, if you want to dive into that, we are going to divert a little bit. No, I'm no. I'm only asking. I said, does the uh, robots or the no, Benins no, 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 have no, that no, kind of uh, no, culture? Apart from the Igbo, no other place have that market. Okay, coming back to the the traditional stool of the people of Okwani, they practice this uh, democratic system of governance that is also seen in the uh, hinterland, the Igbo hinterland communities where there is no imposition of a traditional ruler, or else uh, these Warren chiefs or Aziz, you know, as we have. But we have our system, basically, in my own part, is uh, the eldest person is the, is the village head. So that is the same thing the people here practice, that, and they call it the Obaluku. Yes, that is the same thing. We'll it's the, the head of, of, yes. of the clan. Yes, the head of the clan. So what, is, what are his administrative uh, powers and uh, what does he entail? Who does he administer? Who are his cabinets? Can you mention them by names? Yes, you have the that the Okpaluku is oldest man, and uh, by his age, he cannot attend government functions, neither government meetings. So he will not appoint. First of all, because of his age, he has an Ogbuimi. What? The Ogbuimi, the spokesman. Yes, the Ogbuimi is his spokesman, who speaks his mouth. Then in the Council of Chiefs, we have the Onotuku, 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 who is in charge of all the chiefs. Then after that, you have the Onweze. 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 That is the spokesman of the is of the Okpaloku. He speaks. When, when Okpaloku lies with him, he speaks. That is the Onweze. And before then, there is another, after the Okpaloku, there is another age group of old men. They call them the Okwa. That is the Nesu Okwaloku. They call them Okwa. They sit with, after the Okwaloku sits, they sit next with him. They are aged people too. Those are the people that run the palace with uh, okay. the Okwaloku. And uh, that is where the next ed elders will be selected after the current Okwaloku is gone, right? Uh, yes, if God, yes, yes, is God, yes, that is where he's selected. When the Okwaloku goes, the next person to him follows up. From the Okwas. From the Okwas. Not outside. That is how it goes. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, we are getting somewhere. Um, the, the festivals of the people of Okwan, do you remember them by names and how it's been performed? Uh, yes. You see, the popular festival we have is the Kenga Festival. The Kenga Festival. Festival. The Kenga Festival. The Kenga Festival is where they dance, the quarter dance. The quarter dance is the lead. And after that, some other ceremonies will follow. 
like they call it Umoria. Uh -huh. So every community will start fixing their own. That is the most popular one. There's other festivals that goes up too. But all those ones varies. All, no, all community does not practice it. It, it. it varies in different communities. But the most popular one that I know that more than 70% practices is the Kenge, the Quarter Festival. All of them partake in Okwane. All right, sir. Um, we want to ask you, what are the deities of the people of Okwane? I wouldn't know much about that because... You see, the, pra the, the, the practices are different, and as a Christian. Okay, you are a Christian? A Christian, and uh, only, the tra only the people who practice the traditional aspect of it, you should go to expand on that. Okay, okay, all right. Having said that, uh, what about the Iriji festivals? Yeah. Okay, which one? Like, so I'm talking about the New Year Festival. Yeah, New Year Festival. Yes. They do here. Yeah. That's why I told you, like, I'm opportune to know that because I have a late friend who does this uh, masquerade, dance the mango dance. And uh, when they did that, they said they go with the New Year Festival and they celebrate it. That was our opportunity to know that. Uh, but the New Year Festival is not too... It's like the way we do our king here. Yeah. That is the way you people take your New Year Festival there. Uh -huh. But they do our own in a separate way. They celebrate it too. Everybody celebrate. Now those people that belong to that group, we say they won't eat yam, not until... They celebrate the New Year festival, but where they have that culture properly is the carnation. The car, the cars. They take that New Year festival seriously, but we don't look at it too important here. Okay, all right. Okay, let's let's uh, go towards our language, but different dialects. I would want to ask you something in English, and you tell me how it's been pronounced in uh, Okwane. Okay, if somebody wants to say, "This is my house in Okwane." Uh, dialect, how will you say? So, Kenebo Nom Kenebo Nom Kenebo Nom, yes. Okay, if somebody wants to say, I want to marry, Unchone Kunu Nyenye, say it again, Unchone Kunu Onyenye. If somebody wants to say, I want to eat, Unchone Kuli Fe, I want to say, I want to, I want to, I want to travel, Unchone Kunjozo. Um, this is my children. Can you want mom? This is my mother. Can you want them? These are my brothers. Oh, my name. I am coming. Mbaka. What? Mbaka. We say Mbaka. Okay. So, uh, I'll be going tomorrow. Nakechi. Wow. <laughs> you know, I, I yes, I can. I can. Uh -huh. Yeah, we, we, uh, well, it, it still established the fact it's a, it's a dialect. Uh, it's a dialect yes. of a particular language. You ask me now to say them in Ibaka, and you call say them. Really? Yes, now. Okay. If you say, uh, I am coming, Anna Mabia, a big energy, where are you going to? Uh -huh. Yeah, you are, you, are, you are on point. Uh -huh. You are on point. Then tell me any other one. Uh, 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 I want to eat. Uh, I want to go there. 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 I want to go Person in Benu. Puan Eba. You see? Wow. But the same, you must you must understand that there must be some. If your ears are on the ground, you okay. tie, there's a tie up. All right, uh, sir, honorable. Um, I want to ask you a very important one now. If the Ohanese and Igbo or any other social cultural groups that can unite the Igbos, and uh, go about it in all honesty and in all sincerity of purposes. Would you accept this identity, which I mean, and be proud and work towards the unification of the Igbos, no matter where they reside, no matter how their history might be, but because of the language and the cultural affinity, would you accept your brothers across the Niger as one people, one indivisible people? 
You see, uh, outside Lagos, where the people settle to do business, I think you find in the whole of that state where they feel very comfortable, like no kind of local government here. All the businessmen here are Igbo people. There's no, nowhere, no state, no local government, any state that is not in Obiaroko here. And they feel very comfortable. They've been accepted. They are landlords here. They are not tenants. Most of the popular properties here are owned by individuals. So when you talk of acceptance, if they are not accepted, you won't come and build in another man's land. You won't come and marry in another man's land. You won't develop. There are some, like I know some Igbo that was born in this town. We have Obibo here. After this place, you go for that, you see Obibo. 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 Originally owned by Igbo people till tomorrow. Koris was born here. After they came here before the war, and their property still remain here. I know most of them. Their children, their children don't even, they can, some of them can only speak Igbo. They, they practice what they practice here. It's no Kwane culture. Because they were born, brought up, and they schooled here. Okay, after the war, uh, there was nothing like the abandoned properties where the no, indigenous no, no, get to no, no, take no, no, the land. After the war, they still own their property. I take you to the place. It's still existing, though, people. The ones that sold came back and they sold. The ones that retained, they retained. Okay, but what I really mean is, I'm not talking about people being here. I'm talking about, I mean, having a social cultural umbrella that protects every Igbo person, irrespective of your tribe, because we have understood that. Ibu is an ethnic uh, 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 peculiar people. They are, I mean, is an ethnic nation, but has different tribes in them. Where I am, I am, I am from Njeri tribe, or I would say Oweri, or anything like that. And I'm Nam Brahman, the Enugu, the Ejike. Ej these are different tribes of people that bearing one identity, which is the Ibu, which me and you. I mean, maybe if there is any, uh, if there is any DNA con uh, uh, testing here, yeah, we might be traced to having one ancestry. So I was asking if such a sociocultural group should emerge and reaching out for the total unification of the Igbos across the Niger, in the Niger, everywhere, would you embrace that kind of identity? Uh, you see, why the embracement ordinarily will have flown very well. But like I told you, you don't play a good football outside the pitch. There's already a division. We belong to different states. Is it about states? Yes. And state is a creation of a man. And, and, and the, 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 it is complex. Why it is complex? Like I told you about the, the Niger. The separation of the Niger. After the Niger, you see Delta State. After Delta State, you get to Anambra State. After Anambra State, we are going into another state. Our, our case here is almost the case of an Ikure man in River State. It's a complex issue. It's not an issue just jump into. You see, the case of, of us here, in this data not here, it's almost a similarity case with the Potakot man who is an Ikure man. Who knows where he comes from? But participate because of the complexity of the state. He remains where, he's, where he stays for benefit purposes. Okay, it's about economic benefit purposes and government policies. Yes, government policies. That, but outside those things, outside those man-made barriers, yeah. we are one people. Yeah, definitely. We thank you so much. Okay. We thank you so much. But know that, that this generation of young Igbo youths are out to, I mean, make a change. Definitely. Thank you. Right. You're welcome. Thank you. Chai, my beautiful people, I beg. I de beg on Eh? I beg. This thing when I they do, I know so when I they like them, I they read the comment section and they see the appreciation. When I tell me to make they go. And that thing I be my morale. And that thing I be courage. Sometimes I go work out, I go tired, I go fear. You get some kind of places when I are they fear. Like even here when I are they, are they fear because now inside inside. But the courage when I they read inside that uh comment section, it they give me more morale. Say make a work out, say nothing, my people they behind me. I beg. What I really want from one another? I'm invite more people. Make them like this, make them follow this page. Yes, then Namen TV, make them follow them. Invite your friends, invite your family members, make them follow them. Make we feel get more, 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 more people where they learn, where they understand what we do. I beg. The Univa Ibo project, not be just me and you. We need every person. I beg. I beg on
I beg on I invite share this video. I beg and donesta. Thank you.